day five. Early morning. Teams are arriving, putting together their models. And some of them are already practicing. So it's the only time of the day without wind. And only the first groups in the morning get to fly in the thermal conditions that we are used to. Then at 10 or 11 wind picks up and is blowing all the time till sunset. Twelve rounds has been flown so far, with two rounds remaining. Not much is decided yet, except maybe the junior team victory. Everything else is still open. Lots of people have zero flights or flights with really low score. Even the ones in the top positions. So many things can still change today. So it's going to be a tense day with lots of excitement, I'm sure. The plan is to fly half of the fly-offs this afternoon and the other half tomorrow morning. So pilots will have a chance to fly both windy and thermal conditions so they can show their best. Hoping for some good results for our team as well. Round 13, Group 1. This is Damir Kosir, currently placed 15th. Let's follow him. He's aiming for the fly-off and he needs a good result.
There appears to be some good air there. They aren't really going up, but they aren't really going down either, so good enough to get the time. Two minutes to go. And some people are already landing. Good flight for Damir. <laughs> Petrenko Alexander currently placed 14th. Decided not to risk it. But no one is really low. Interesting, except maybe one. Here above the starting line.
Now I feel a gust of wind blowing in their direction, which I guess means good news for them. So that whole group will make it safely till the end. The question is only who was the lowest at the start and how good landings will they make. About 1 minute and 50 seconds remain. We've seen one solo flight over there. Quite interesting.
Okay, good landing. But if that guy that was the lowest also made the full time, might not be enough to advance in the rankings. Alex Greenberg, position number five, Jan Hlastets currently at the top, but he cannot afford to make a mistake. I guess he'll just play it safe. Definitely already lost him. They're all about the same height. No one looks to be particularly low compared to the rest. And looks like they are safely climbing away. Slowly but steadily. Less than two minutes remain. Pilots are returning to the starting corridor and their landing points.
Well done. Feigl from the German team. If I remember correctly, he's currently placed 12. So he especially cannot afford to make a mistake. That will cost him the fly-off. He's now straight in the sun, which is a bit annoying for me. But now he decided to add some more power, but still remain on this side. Looks like he's not happy with his choice of airspace and he's moving to the rest of the crowd. Definitely better air over there. But a bit more crowded. A very interesting position would be just over the camp. Which also looks good. This is now proper weather that our models were designed for. Just a tiny bit of wind driven by thermals. A gust every now and then signaling that there's a thermal rising somewhere. And this is the kind of flying that I enjoy the most. One minute remains and four planes have already landed. So it appears that some pilots were not able to stay in the air till the end. And some are still fighting.
Very good. Marco Gala currently placed on 13th place, I believe. But Radek Malchik landed two minutes early in the previous rounds and he was above him. So he now has the chance to reach the flyoffs. All of the coming this way. Separate from the rest of the crowd. There are actually two planes there. Three even. They must have spotted something over there. Let's see if they picked the right part of the sky. Looks like they have no issues staying in the air here and that sky is cooperating.
Two minutes to go. Here some screaming noises, which tells me that some pilots were able to climb really high. But this is not the goal here, the goal is to stay in the air for 10 minutes and... The south side of the field was good enough to achieve the goal. Well done. Primoz Rizner, currently placed number four, I believe. He also cannot afford to make a mistake. Low and slow. Although not all that low. About the same as the others in that part. No one is really low there. So someone decided to risk it all. I see that Primoz is already in good air. But if that guy now makes it, he will affect his score. Now getting crowded over there. There are even some professional flyers joining in, as I can see. I'm sure they saw the planes climbing. 
Now they will confirm whether the thermal is good or is just faking. One is already flying away. The other is trying, but also not too happy. Yeah, so either our planes are better than birds, or the thermal there is bad. So the both birds moved a bit more to the to my right. There they are. But our pilots are where? Much more in the front. Apparently they're happy with the air here. And they're not really following the birds. The difference is that birds have the freedom to fly away, while the pilots need to come back to their starting point. And now they're all really high. There are just two that are returning or looking for a better air. But right now the sun is already high enough that finding good air here should not be an issue. This one is going to be interesting. This is a refly group because the last group of the juniors had a mid-air collision on landing, luckily no damage. One of the pilots asked for a refly and this group is now assembled uh, by a random draw. Five random guys and one that called for a refly. So most of them already have good results and they will now show everything they are capable of. Now let's see if they can make it from this low height. This is one of the 
German guys, I believe. Started just off the start corridor. The other guys over there. Trying to join him. So that was apparently too low. In the meantime, the guy that was low here over the corridor already got some height. <laughs> but the rest of the planes are even higher. Up there somewhere. There's now a gust of wind in their direction, which I guess is good for them. But not that they, not that they need it. They are already plenty high. For the five minutes to go, this is enough.
wind now feels like it's picking up to its normal strength a bit late today but yeah definitely it's now coming from the east blowing up the valley so the landing for these guys will be very interesting Two and a half minutes to go. All of them are already working on their way home. late for the organizer to change the landing direction which means they will have to land with the tailwind and this will be dangerous ok now I don't see anything But the guys decided themselves to land upwind, which makes sense, I guess. No need to risk the models now. difficult okay two models in one out that's all I see now let's wait for the results just a few minutes later the wind is at its full strength like we were used to in the previous days and the last group of seniors last round of seniors, seven groups is starting I doubt anyone will go low now although the juniors did the previous in the previous reflight group juniors did 27 meters full time so without wind it is possible to do low start and good flight time but with wind 
much less likely. Someone even started late. But I think that was a technical issue. The sun is hidden behind a layer of serious clouds today. Maybe this is why the wind is not as strong as it was some days before. On Monday we even had a thunderstorm here in the hills. Luckily the rain didn't reach us. But it certainly generated some strong winds. So upwind planes are now mostly following the wind, being blown somehow across me, over me, which will make it difficult for me to follow. But here in the sun, there are some planes already behind me. And in less than ideal position because this guy is pretty low already. Getting blown downwind and still needs to come back. I see some people already collecting their plants. This is Frack, I believe. He was on 21st place. So no fly-off for him. There's another model here in on the ground. Don't know whom it belongs to. And one approaching me. Going for landing as well. All the planes now are downwind. Let's see if I can catch some. So 
but this guy is the lowest of the all that I can see and he will have to work the hardest about me and they look in a much better position since they are much closer to the landing point Other two moved <coughs> to the left, to, to my left. Let's see. Struggling to come back as expected. Two minutes to go. Let's see if he can make it. within 75 but not exactly to the point still he will get scores for time who is still flying so all the planes now moved far upwind which is very good decision actually Getting ready to land. Okay, very good. There's no overt in the air, just seconds before start and I assume all of the pilots will just go for it Let's see who's the bravest and the lowest Someone above me
bit more left to the south where the guard was. These two guys, it's not difficult to even come back, but they're still hoping for something. Apparently this guy wants to go for a walk. I have no other explanation of his turns down there. So this is another zero flight. What about the other guy?
So this might be within 75 meters, just barely. Over the rest of the flock. in the rain. Some people are still circling downwind. I don't quite get it. Apparently he intends to do a hover landing. Which kind of makes sense in this weather. And that's it for this round. Just three people managed to fly till the end, as far as I could see. Round 14, group 4. All of them are going to my right. Let's see if anyone's going to the left.
I see only one guy. Looks like everyone else is on the right side, the south side of the valley. We were pretty close to landing as well.
and he's throwing the lock over the camp. And some other people just walked past me going to fetch the plane. Looks like in this kind of weather conditions it is best to get the points for landing. But those other pilots don't agree. Still pretty high. So at least three are high enough to make a full time. And there's one poor soul over the tree trying to come back. And two minutes to go. Now he wants to get more time. Let's see if it pays off. Looks like his timing was perfect. Very good. Damir Kosir still on 15th place after 13 rounds. Very slim margin for chance to make it to the flyoffs. Only top 12 pilots will go to the flyoffs.
minutes to go. Very good, another wonderful flight by our friends Damir Kosir, also known as Dlaka. Very nice, very nice. Perfect landing. Radek Malczyk He's a very good pilot but his morning flight wasn't as good as he's capable of So I expect this flight should be okay He's now 6th place I believe
again only two pilots managed to fly full time and they're both very happy let's take a look at team france i hear they had some impressive victories at competitions with windy weather
flight of around 5 minutes for the French pilot. Let me see where the others are. I see the Greek guy still flying somewhere probably far I think he's over there Two planes still high. Uh, returning. Since there's only two minutes to go. That was too much. He wanted too much, but at least the plane looks more or less okay.